what is up? This is Politica with Precious, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, and your friend. Listen, everybody is on this new Kim Newton interview like it's a, like Shannon Sharp didn't drop. Okay? Kim ain't getting no numbers, but everybody else is getting them. Listen, Kim Newton went on his podcast with a beautiful psychologist, Dr. Jackie, and they were discussing men and the lack of marriage and Kim Newton's, um, basically Kim Newton's decision to not marry right now, um, but actively have children with different women. I'm going to make this short and sweet because <laughs> Dr. Jackie already summed it up for us. Okay. So eloquently in her beautiful words, she met him where he was at and broke him down like a pound. Um, I'm going to break it down in simpler form. Listen. You can't unlame a lane. You just can't unlame a lane. Money can't unlame it. Being around other people can't unlame it. Um, being a lame is not just uh, maybe uh, not fitting in with societal norms. No, 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 no. We like those people too. Being a lame is thinking that all of your accolades make you a good person. Being a lame means that you think you control people with certain things, um, like Diddy. Real life, um, you can tell Diddy was a lame. Cam. lame and a couple other podcasters that you know is constantly female bashing lame lame and i'm gonna tell you a little story about my ex-boyfriend of six years six years you guys six years now i'm gonna tell you something he had the same mentality as cam actively having children but not want, not want to get married, want to lay down, have a baby, plan it. I want to vocally tell me, I want to have, I want you to have my baby. I want you to be my baby's mother. And I'm thinking in my head, that don't even sound cute. Baby mama. My ex-husband don't even call me that. He calls me his son's mother and my ex-boyfriend for the life of him could not understand and he, he kept telling me stuff like you, you don't want to have a baby and you don't want to have a baby um i take care of my kids i take care of my kids maybe financially when you when you feel like it when a baby mama ain't got on your nerves or if you feel like your kids listen to your baby mama more than you, then you cut them off, basically. Basically. And that is the moral of the story. These men want things in life, um, like stepping stools. Okay, I'm gonna get a career, I'm gonna get money, I'm gonna get wealth, I'm gonna get a house, I'm gonna get many cars, I'm gonna have savings, I'm gonna have businesses, investments. And guess what? I want kids now. I want kids, but I don't want the full responsibility. And my ex-boyfriend could not for the life of him because his other two baby mamas felt like he had money, you know, okay, I'll have your baby, uh, baby will be taken care of. How about we just don't have a baby and you won't have to take care of shit? And it's funny, guys, because 
he turned around after after being together for tell a little bit of my tea, little little. You gonna clock this tea? Listen, for four years, four out of the six, four years, whatever. We didn't have a baby. I kept telling him I did two, on two different, very distinct occasions. Told him I did not want to have his baby, and why. And like I said, for the life of him, he just could not understand why I, who didn't have money, didn't want to have his baby. Because you're not going to be there. You're not going to be active. You're not going to be present. You don't even have the mindset that I would want my son's or my child's father to even have. Just because you have money... Just because, and, and I love the way Dr. Jackie broke it down. And a lot of these men need to really hone in and really understand what she's saying. Um, because a lot of these men is not high value. Not high value. And they be the ones who's constantly telling women how much of a high value man he is and how low of a woman she is. No, you're just high functioning. You're just high functioning. You just then did something with yourself a little bit. And she put Cam in his place. No, you're not have value. Your mindset creates the value within your life. And like she let him know, you're high functioning. You may make a pretty coin. You may be trying to do some things. You may even be trying to grow. Maybe in some act areas, very selective areas, like she pointed out, very selective, very selective. Um, but one thing I want to add, you ain't P if you got to lie. You're not P if you got to mislead, manipulate, coerce a woman. It's not P. Now, I can almost understand a man who's in very, very high demand, some jobs wanting something a little more contractual. Um, the only contractual relationship that I've seen that's kind of like, okay, is Donald Trump. Donald Trump and Melania. That was very much so contractual. Trump let it be known that it was contractual. And before they got married, they sat down with lawyers and she had a list of demands and they were going back and forth on the negotiations. Now that's a different story. That's a different story because even contractually, Donald Trump had the mindset of, oh no, I still want my kids around me. Oh no, I still, I still want to, for the most part, go home to, to this specific home and that's where my kids are at. It's all mindset, guys. And it's easy for these men to get a couple dollars and go on here and start bashing uh, women, especially since before they really wasn't getting any play or they felt some type of way about women or felt some type of way because they couldn't get the woman that they wanted. And that's because they wasn't high value. And going into that mindset, even with a couple dollars, does not make you high value. And you can now pay for what you think that you want. But a lot of these men are finding out and finding out quick that that's not even what they want. It's not even what they want. Mm -hmm. Nope. And as much as men try to fight it nowadays, they really crave and yearn for unconditional, genuine love. They really do, you guys. They want our love. <laughs> they want our love. But baby, don't give us one. If they acting like Cam Newton, baby, don't give it to them. Don't give them a baby. Don't give them no lovings. Say, yo, money, we don't want it. That's the only way we're going to regain our uh, respect as women. Is if more women stood up 
and said those things. More women um, stood up instead of having their hand out. Sit up and, and you don't have to be nasty. Just, you know what? Maybe that's not for me. You know, I really want to pour all my love into a man and I want him to love me too and pour his love into me. And we have a great family and great lineage and legacy and all those good things. <sighs> it's, it's so sad, but I'm glad that Cam Newton did it because this is how a lot of men think. They think that they are high value when really they're just high functioning. Nothing really valuable about them. If you walk into a room and a woman in, in women's only first in the women's first thought is, ooh, he got a couple dollars. Maybe you need to reevaluate how you're carrying yourself. If you think women are gold diggers, maybe you need to reevaluate um how you're approaching women and what you're throwing out there. Maybe you should try something else. But I don't know. <laughs> y'all don't have to listen to me. Because <laughs> y'all damn sure ain't listening to none of the other women out there. Okay? We just want something solid. Something real. Something genuine. And we want to give that to y'all knucklehead friends too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there's some women like me. Where money just don't impress us. Even if it seems like we don't have money ourselves. Because guess what? Now my ex is stuck with a broke baby mama. <laughs> a young broke baby mama. <laughs> I'm free from that. I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> it's not even funny, you guys, but that's how it happens. That's how it happens. And I really think that Cam just got his heart broke once upon a time. And he just vowed that that'll never happen again. So he's going to be in control and this, that, and the third. It's such a bad look. It's such a bad look. And it's funny because men try to cover up with the money part. Oh, I got money, though. I got money, though. I can buy what I want. I can have what I want. I got so many. Then why are you still searching? If you can have what you want, why are you still searching? That's the real question. Why are you still searching? Why are you still longing? Why are you still having psychologists come onto your show and break you down like a pound so you can figure out what's really going on? I don't know. Anyway, this is your girl, Precious. Po I said Precious. <laughs> well, I am Precious. This is Politica with Precious. Your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, and your friends. Listen, you know what people say at the end of their videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. It don't cost you a thing to roll with me. Okay? Okay. Talk to y'all later. Bye.